Yeah, Chef Mike from Peg Lake Pizza is in the house out in Pensacola Beach. What's going on, Mike? Uh, well, uh, we're going to be cooking some uh, spicy shrimp scampi. Um, it's a take on the traditional shrimp scampi, but uh, add up a little kick. We've got some uh, jalapeno and uh, blackening seasoning that's going to kind of spice the dish up and, uh, you know, make it make it something to give a little more peg legs flair, like a pirate flair, you know? Arr, I like it. Also, you got Arr. some fresh red pepper over here too, right? Yeah, the red, the red pepper flake also adds a little kick, um, which is something that normally comes with a shrimp scampi, but um, we're going to add a little bit extra today. Yeah, a lot of people kind of dealing with some cold sinus issues right now too. This will help uh, get you all cleaned out and ready to go with that extra spiciness. So tell the folks a little bit about peg leg pizza. Oh, well, uh, we're a restaurant We've been established since uh, 1991, 92. Um, we are one of the busiest restaurants in, on Pensacola Beach, uh, probably the most popular restaurant that I know of. Um, Taking a look at some pictures right now. Definitely a popular place to go. We were talking a little bit. I've been there several times, and whenever you go, there's always a long wait. So now is actually a great time to go because we're kind of in the off season right now. Yeah, uh, especially for lunchtime, it'd be a good time to, to get in, and uh, you could go right to the bar if, you, if there's a long wait for the tables. And uh, we're running daily specials right now, um, soups of the day, a bunch of different uh, new menu items that we can't normally run. During the uh, busy hours, sure. Just, you know, our photographer Joe would go right to the bar, like you said. Let's see, he's shaking his head. Yup, <laughs> that's what I do. All right, so we got a lot of ingredients here. We talked about the spices. Uh, what do we need to do to get started here? Well, um, first thing you're going to do is, you know, obviously get the um, the burner going. Sure. But um, does this take a long time to put together, or is it kind of a quick dish once it all gets going? Well, one one of the processes that I'm skipping this morning just to save us time is cooking the pasta. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna boil that pasta in the water, get it get it uh, heated up to a nice soft um, texture, and then you can just kind of set it to the side, uh, strain it, obviously get all the water out of it, um, and then you start in the pan. You get some the butter and olive oil working, and um, you want to kind of reduce that down, and then you, you start to add in some of the ingredients and spices, cook the shrimp, and then you add in the pasta to get it hot at the end. Sounds good. Well, I tell you what, why don't we take a break here, and we'll get all that started in the next segment when we come back. Cooking with Peg Leg Pete's. I've been looking forward to this shrimp scampi for a long time, Cherish. This is one of those days I wish all of you guys could smell what we're smelling here in our kitchen. Michael Osley from Peg Leg Pete's Pensacola Beach here in our studio, and you're making a very spicy shrimp scampi. A little twist on it. Yeah, hey, we're going to kick it up a notch, as Emerald would say. Um, first, yeah. The first step on this uh, shrimp scampi is you're going to get your pan going around medium, medium hot. Um, I've already added in the, the butter and the olive oil. Um, if you want a healthier option, you can skip the butter and just use the olive oil. Uh -huh. um, so then your next step here, I like to do. I like to be specific when I add stuff to my recipes. But you're gonna get the garlic going that and good. Uh, open that up a bit. And, um, and also, then what makes it spicy? Yeah. Then you're gonna kick it up with some jalapeno. Hey, let's do a little bit more okay. just just to get a good spice going in here. Why not? And oh, that uh, good. yeah, once you start to get that uh, garlic nice and opened up, I add in a little red pepper flake. A little more spice. Yeah, <laughs> you want it. You want to have plenty on it. Um, and I'm going to let that. I'm going to let that reduce down just to, just for a couple of seconds here. And uh, once the um, the garlic gets nice and opened up, a little it's it's minced garlic. Mm -hmm. You uh, add in the shrimp, and that that's what that's what makes the dish so special. Um, and you're going to cook them about two to three minutes on each side. Yeah, um, you know you get you get them to where you, you can tell when a shrimp is cooked because you know they start out and they're nice and transparent. Mm -hmm. And um, you know you cook cook them about a minute and a half on each side, okay. roughly, because you're also going to um, cook a little bit longer once I add the pasta. And I guess depending on the size of the shrimp as well. But if you right. get this size, this is a good size. This will fill you up. These are these are 16, 20 shrimp, which is okay. there's 16 to 20 of them in a pound, which. Um, you know, I, I like this dish because you have, you know, a decent amount of shrimp. Um, you know, you're going to be eating shrimp the whole time you're eating this. Yeah. Which so, you know, so some, sometimes you go to a restaurant and you don't get the, um, you know, you don't you don't get as many shrimp. You know, and and, and ours we we make sure you get plenty. You know, it, it's yeah. about equal weight to the amount of. Uh, 
Sometimes you don't get that protein in every bite of pasta. With this, you can tell it's it's a lot. Now this is something it's not on your menu, but it's one of your most requested items because you guys run it as a special all the time. In fact, you are tonight. Yes, yes, we are running it tonight. Um, you know, we all the time. Um, I'm, the servers are telling me that people are asking for shrimp scampi. Um, I ran this uh, about two weeks ago as one of our dinner specials, and um, we're going to also be running it tonight out of Peg Legs. If you'd like to come check it out. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I just added some white wine, and then uh, at that point, you're going to want to turn up the heat, get the wine sizzling in here, and that, that's going to lock in the flavor on the shrimp. Um, at this point, I'm going to add a little bit more blackening seasoning, which uh, I get from Maria Seafood. It's a, a seafood company that we actually own at Peg Legs. Okay. Get these shrimp tossing around in this, add a pinch of pepper, and, oh, a, and a pinch of salt. All right, looking good. So we'll keep these shrimp going. Now, you guys are at 1010 Fort Pickens Road, Pensacola Beach. That's where you'll find Peg Lake Peach. You guys are open seven days a week. That's right. So you can go see them, lunch, dinner. And if you want to see the full menu, we'll have a link on fox10tv.com on our Studio 10 page. We'll also put this recipe for this spicy shrimp scampi linguine so you can make it at home. Let's take a look at this. Let's get a good shot right there. Oh, yeah. There it is, Chef Mike from Peg Leg Pete's Pensacola Beach working on this spicy shrimp scampi pasta. And what do we need to do here, Mike? Well, now that we've got the shrimp cooking, I've added the white wine. I've let the white wine reduce. I'm going to add in the pasta now. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're going to want to, the, the, this pasta is cold at the moment. Uh, you're going to want to get that hot. I'm going to shoot up the uh, temperature on this induction burner and uh, let, it, let the heat get going on it. Sure. While well, we're waiting for that, you were telling me a little bit about some of your lunch specials and something to do with oysters. Yeah. Um, now that now that it's uh, the slower season, we have daily lunch specials. Uh, on on Mondays, we have meatloaf Monday, mm -hmm. which is a really popular item. We've got Taco Tuesday, which is another delicious item uh, with our grilled uh, grouper tacos. Um, Wednesdays, we run red beans and rice. Um, and Thursdays we have our baked oyster special. Mm -hmm. Now we've been running um, daily oyster specials, anywhere from a hot Rockefeller to uh, um, we've and doing Swiss oyster. We do a um, spinach artichoke and Parmesan oyster, and and those are baked oysters that aren't normally on our menu. Which um, it's a special treat for any customers that come in on our off season. These are normally things that we we can't keep up with. You know, with the um, amount of business that we take in, so it's a really unique time to come out on out to Peg Lake Pete's and check us out. Um, but yeah, they just gotta mix this pasta up and um, and serve it, man, and just get it really good and hot. I'm gonna add a little bit more white wine in here just to get it heated up a little bit. Man, it, and if, it smells so good in here with all the spices and stuff that you put in it. And speaking of which, you wanted to mention this as well. Tell us about this right here. We can hold that up for the camera. This is um, Maria's, Maria's Seafood uh, Cajun Blackening Seasoning. Mm -hmm. It's uh, what we use at Peg Lake Pete's for all of our blackened fish and shrimp and anything that you're going to get blackened. Um, we own Maria's Seafood at, at Peg Legs. Our, our owner is the owner of Maria's, and, and they provide us with um, our seafood and uh, many other businesses in the area. Um, sure. Pretty much, if you're going to get oysters in the Pensacola area, you're going to get them most likely from Maria's, unless they're frozen, which that's not how we roll at Peg Legs. We don't freeze oysters. So, can you get that at Peg Leg Pizza, or do you go to Maria's, or how would you pick um, some you, of that up you, if you uh, wanted to? You can to? purchase this at uh, Maria's mm -hmm. Seafood. It's on uh, 621 East Cervantes in Pensacola, Florida. Their uh, phone number is 432-4999. Uh, so, if you're coming from the Mobile area, make sure you, can, you go ahead and call ahead, and uh, they can set you up with any of the seafood that you're going to want. Uh, my last step here is I'm going to add in some freshly chopped parsley. All right. Just to give it a, a cool looking color. And uh, I've, I like it spicy, so I'm going to add in even some more blackening seasoning. So we're literally going to be blackening this pasta. <laughs> Blackened pasta, spicy shrimp, Maria's seasoning all up in there. We've got it all. We're ready to Should go. Should I grab so this plate so we can yeah. plate this bad Let's boy go ahead up? Let's plate it up. All right. There we go. Look at that. And, uh, you know, get the shrimp. You know, when we do this at the restaurant, we, get, we like to present the shrimp. You know, show show you what you're going to be eating, and like I was saying earlier, you know, the, with the eight shrimp that we provide in this dish, it's a 
that's a pretty good um, portion. You know, you're going to be eating shrimp the whole time that you're eating the pasta. Well, great job this morning. You can find out more about Peg Lake Pizza on our website. Go check them out on Pensacola Beach. Remember to ask for this because this is a special menu item, and it is fantastic. Thanks a lot, Chef Mike, for coming in. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Can't wait to eat this after the show.